Alright, welcome back everybody. It is, uh, well, it's uh, December 2018, and boy do I have a very special episode today, um, because we're going to be looking at some of these Marvel Legends from, um, oh, what's that guy's name, Call Obsidian, from the Call Obsidian line, and we're going to witness something, we're going to review some of these figures, we're going to go over some of these figures here. But we're also going to talk about, we're also going to witness, you're going to experience this with me. The creation of a Build-A-Figure. Yeah, that's the moment that a lot of Marvel Legends collectors have. And I have gone through it numerous times. Not as much as I'd like to. Just because uh, I still have a lot of Build-A-Figures that are not completed. That's one of the most annoying things in the world. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, every day I think about some of the figures that I have that are not completed, but, um, anyway, let's move along and I'm going to talk about, uh, some of these figures here and, uh, we're going to, we're going to open these together. Are you with me? We're going to do it. I have a feeling that a little trick I do here doing that little thing with a nail clipper. Um, so the first one we're going to do is, is wasp and, um, not the Jan Van Dyke traditional marble wasp. Shut up, nerd. It is uh, the movie wasp. Um, Hope Van Dyne. Did I say Van Dyke? Van Dyne. Hope Van Dyne. And um, she forms Voltron's head, as you can see right here. And um, we're going to go through these pretty fast because I'm um, more excited to get these build a figure things going on now wasp i picked her up for about let's say i think it was about 10 bucks on amazon these are a lot of these were from the uh the cyber monday extended deals which uh to me are some of the best things that you can uh wait for now you're not going to get everything you wanted there is a venom that i wanted and it sold out pretty quickly uh, luckily, I already have that mold. But, see, I can't afford to get Marvel Legends all at the same time. Um, and so I end up missing out on some of the harder-to-find one-per-case ones sometimes. And uh, there's a few that I'm not able to complete my Build-A-Figure with. I wish that Hasbro would actually sell Build-A-Figure parts. I get the most demanded parts and put them out again, you know. Um, and I'm going to keep referencing... Fing Fan Foom for every Marvel Legends video that I do from now on <laughs> because I have not completed him. And in order for me to complete Fin Fan Foom, um, I'm probably going to have to shell out about a 200 bucks just to get one piece. So here she is. Uh, I think this is... You got, you got two little hands over here. Little flight hands or shooting hands. Uh, you got an alternative clothes backpack, which I don't see the purpose of doing... Uh, but that's cool. You get your uh, helmeted head. Now, me, I prefer, uh, the, what's her name? Evangeline Lily, the actress. And these, look at that really nice sculpt he did there. Not only it's a sculpt, it's one of those, um, uh, scans, face scan technology that they use. And this is a good representation of the Wasp. This is closer to the comic book where it's, um, uh, the helmetless head and uh, the outfit and the little wings. So this is cool. I like this. This is definitely going to be in my MCU um, collection there. And let me take out the parts here. Ugh. Come on, get out of there. Ugh. Okay, we'll just... Uh, oh yeah, let's get the hands out because I don't want to lose them. And I'm going to toss that there. Stop it. Okay, uh, make sure to recycle, folks. Put these in my recycle bin. Um, so yeah, nice little figure here. Um, come on, camera, will you focus already? The camera's being shy because it's a beautiful figure. It's a great looking figure. Now, let's skip this guy and move over to the one be below him, which is a very impressive... Paul Rudd figure. 
which I'd like to get more of these guys just so I can make my uh, Wet Hot American Summer custom or my Josh from Clueless custom or every role that Paul Rudd has been in custom. So just to have a Paul Rudd figure would be great. Now this is a... looks very similar to the first costume of the... Marvel Cinematic Universe Ant-Man, with the exception of a more movie-accurate helmet, which I actually do really like the design of uh, the Ant-Man costume. Ah, oh, come on. Sorry for all the noise, folks. How's it all Thanksgiving? Shall I finish your uh, leftovers? Alright, I'm going to take this off camera. Ugh. There you go. Now, this is very tough because I really like this head. Now, I, I usually go for the helmeted heads. Let's put that on first. There's your Ant-Man figure. It doesn't come with any accessories. It doesn't need any accessories, really. You know what? I think I've made my decision. I think I'm going to go with a Paul Red head because this sits on him a little goofy-like. Now, the antennae are a little bent, but you can always use like a heat gun or do the put put it in boiling water it's okay it's um eh, it does look pretty cool it does look pretty cool actually makes me want to get a uh, yellow jacket so here's your ant-man figure uh but let me let me show you the this is wonderful paul right head if you guys haven't seen this already now i picked this one up for probably about 15 bucks and <laughs> this is awesome oh yeah good old paul rudd wouldn't want to hang out with that dude. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to have my cool Paul Rudd figure. Uh, dang, damn it, this... Alright, you got to learn how to focus. That's because I keep unfocusing it and... Yeah, you put them together, they look great. His head didn't pop in all the way, I don't think. There you go. And you can give him some silly poses. You can have him hold the helmet, too, like the way he was displayed in the box, you know. Get some fun tech or something. It's not going to hold by itself. There you go, Paul Rudd. Yay! There you go. Awesome. Power couple. I liked that movie. Fun movie. One of the better Marvel movies. And we get the leg of the cool obsidian. And uh, now let's get this guy over here, Malekith. Which, he's a dark angel, or a dark angel, sorry, what the hell am I talking about? He's a dark elf. Ugh. And he's one of the, one of the realms. And uh, he was, uh, I remember reading a few episodes in the old Thor ep uh, comic books here. I always liked Malekith's designs, and it's just cool because I am building my... Oops. Ah, oh, what am I saying here? There you go, let's get this out here. Malekith here. Very cool, traditional, classic Marvel-looking figure. Way better looking than the movie design. Uh, the movie design was okay, though. Uh, Malekith, you all may have remembered him in the in the very forgetful... Dark World Thor, which it wasn't horrible, but um, I'm glad they put him as a character. Um, but there's so many other uh Thor characters that would have been great. Sword is very difficult to get in that, not very difficult, but it, it needs some prying there. You got open his hand here. What was the name of his realm? Svartlaheim or something like that. Uh, Malekith's awesome character, just very classic Marvel. Uh, bright colored uh character and uh it, you know marvel always knew how to use colors to their advantage you know just bring out that brightness and give the character personality so um there we go we have these three characters i have the other characters put away somewhere but here is the fun part hold on to your socks here is the cull obsidian body so, let's uh, put them together. Uh, stick that leg in there. Oh my god, this guy is massive already. 
Whoa! He's even bigger than uh than some of the Hulk figures and some of the the Abomination, which I still don't have a head for. So I don't have that abomin abomin ab abomination. Abomin 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 abomination. Jeez, wow. Now see, I wasn't big on collecting a lot of the Marvel movie figures, but this guy would go good in my cosmic collection. Let's put the head on. No, we formed that. Well, you know what? I'm going to put the axe in his hand. Or the hammer. It's a big hammer thing. That's what it's actually called. It's the hammer thing. Not really detailed here, but it's still a nice sculpt. Uh, really well done. Nice design. Doesn't really... Ah, oh, come on. Okay, that's the best I can do with a head. Jeez, look at this guy. He stands probably about nine inches high. Yeah, he's pretty huge. Eight or nine inches. Big dude. Really like this. It'd be cool. I really like this uh, body bulk uh, buck here. I uh, wish it could be used for something else. Now, this is the hard part, getting this thing into the hand. Because the hands are kind of like this hard plastic. But there you go. Once you get it in there, it's pretty cool. Now, he would look really cool with some of the other, which is the other one, Proxima Midnight and uh, Thanos. Which, as I have not completed my Thanos yet with this California Raisin Head. But I will, hopefully, if some of these figures don't start skyrocketing. And that's the problem with these Marvel Legends. If you don't buy them right away, the market value starts increasing and increasing. And who dictates the market value? Scalpers. Thanks to you guys. Um, but this is a great figure here. Oh my god. Uh, now, um, there you go. We have a special bonus here. Now look, at, oh my god. I just can't get over how awesome this figure is. I can't wait to have him next to some of my other uh, cosmic figures. Just finding room for these guys. But geez, just even if you didn't like Marvel... Uh, this is, uh, or the movies or whatever, this is just a cool toy. This big ass thing here. It's so, it's so heavy. It's just, and this is your, your, your six inch, uh, marble figure. And look at the size of this guy. And I'm even, I'm not, he's not even standing up straight. When you stand him up straight, I think it has a little, a little to do with the feet there. But, um, it is just so highly detailed. It looks cool. Big old monster. You know, this wouldn't make a, a bad buck if they decided to do like a... <laughs> he was giggle with a name. By Beast. Um, but here's the bonus. Here's the bonus. I also picked Domino up on sale. And uh, it took me forever to get her. But the reason I'm calling it a bonus is because she has the last piece that I need for... The Canadian destroyer himself, Sasquatch. Oh, he's not the Canadian destroyer. I think Petey Williams is a Canadian destroyer. I wish I could have a sound effect when I throw stuff like David Letterman had. Glass breaking. So let's take a look at Domino. This is not the first Domino figure uh, to come out of the Marvel Legends line, but the other one was pretty elusive. Not the easiest to, to get a hold of, which I do have. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get those figures. I think I got it at Walmart, and I got can, it came with Cannonball. They haven't done a new updated Cannonball, but then again, I was hoping that when the New Mutants movie comes out, we'd get like some sort of box set. Speaking of which, I got a, another review to do that's related to that. But yeah, you know, nice figure. Uh, more contemporary Domino design little jacket uh uses some uh reused parts of course and uh domino's a pretty cool character always like her uh despite her being a rob leefield creation um you know sometimes when you get a bunch of different ingredients one of those ingredients is okay because it really wasn't intended to happen but uh domino is one of the cooler X-Force characters. Um, and what do you got left? Cable. He's very exciting. Anyway, so here's your domino. Now here is the part we are all waiting for. Uh, 
this is another massive builder figure. Who would have thought we would have gone, we would have completed two builder figures in one day. I don't think I've ever done that in the 15 plus years I've been collecting Marvel Legends or when since they started. Oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, man-child noises. Sasquatch. Not to be confused with Sascrotch, but wonderful figure. Uh, I've seen the new Wendigo figure coming out. Sadly, the Wendigo is not as cool looking as him. And as I thought they would just... Um, the original uh, Sasquatch I actually never owned. But uh, he was later repainted white to look like Wendigo. I do have the Hulk edition Wendigo, which I am very happy with. Uh, but I was hoping that the new Wendigo Build-A-Figure, uh, while it does reuse some of these parts, would just have a better face sculpt. Um, I think that's my only problem with it. But hey, there's not only one Wendigo, there's a lot of Wendigos. And uh, Wendigo's a cool character too. When did he go? I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. Here we are. Thank you all for watching. Uh, da, 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 da. You, uh, I was very happy to share this experience on this episode of Show and Tell What the Hell. Um, I think there's supposed to be more Alpha Flight figures coming out. Y'all, check out some Alpha Flight comics, man. The original ones. Um, you know, there's some people here that are going to be saying, well, who, uh, they're, they're Canadian. That was the biggest joke. They're, they're Canadian superhero team. Man, they were badass. And uh, you know who was part of Alpha Flight at one point? Yeah, you guessed it, Wolverine. So, um... I'd like to get a wolf. Uh, I got spare Wolverines or extra Wolverines. I'd like to have an Alpha Flight with a uh, Wolverine. Someone's going to be correcting me on the bottom. I actually, Wolverine was never a official part of the day. But hey, guys, it's been swell. I'm going to be doing some more of these. Uh, feel free to make some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know if there's anything that you disagree or agree with. Or if, um, there are other, uh, figures that, uh, you're excited about seeing. Any more Build-A-Figures. Um, and check out my other videos. I got all sorts of, uh, figures, uh, from Transformers to, uh, um, of these Marvel Legends, Masters of the Universe. I collect all sorts of stuff just because I like it, I love it, and I want some more of it. I invented that. But, yeah. Anyway, take care, be safe, and, um... Be true to yourself.